Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Guarantee RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon. Today to show you a brand new floor plan, and I don't get to say that very often, a brand new floor plan. This is from Jayco. The Jayco's a great company because they've been at it over 50 years. They have a legacy of quality products and innovation and they also have the best warranty in the business. This rig has a two year bumper to bumper warranty including appliances. I've got a lot to say about it so let's get started, follow me. Now the first thing you'll notice right away is there's three steps on this thing. It goes right down to the ground, it's very easy to get in and out. That's partially because this is a Rocky Mountain edition and it's got some great ground clearance. We'll see that more when we go around outside. Okay, now, this is a new bunkhouse model that I really, really like because even if I, even if I don't have guests, even if I don't have kids, I can always make use of bunk beds. It's a great place to put tubbies full of gear. It's a great place to put my fishing poles. It's a great place to throw my coat when I walk in. You can use bunk beds for everything. So let's start up here in the front and we'll just do this whole thing. One thing very unusual about this coach is that it's got a really nice big queen bed with nightstands on both sides, lots of storage. And because this is a fully dimensioned coach, it's not a little low profile with a slopey front end, it's got a lot of space up here. It's not so congested and tight around your head. Another thing they did that I think is really smart in this design is they did not put a partition at the end of this bed. They left it open. So even though this is a pretty small trailer, it feels huge inside. It's got a lot of comfort and a lot of roominess. We lift this bed up. Check out all the storage under there. That goes from end to end on the front, all the way across, and all the way under the bed. You can put a ton of stuff in here. Okay, now. The other thing about this coach that's interesting, you'll notice, is it does not have a slide. Most of the time, if you want a bunkhouse model, this has the double doubles. That means it'll sleep four people in the bunks. You get a, a bunkhouse with a slide and a queen bedroom. You wind up being really, really long. And this makes it harder for you to get into different kinds of campsites. You know, people want to go camping. They don't want to just go stay in an RV park somewhere. So this rig is going to give you more mobility because it's not so darn big. The other thing is, got a nice dinette that'll seat four, got a nice galley, and of course Jayco's great because they put in an oven, they put in a microwave. They also use a nice big Norcold fridge. I love Norcold fridges. This is a big one and it also, it has a basin up here in the freezer. So if for some reason you run off and forget your 10 pound bag of ice that you left in there, when it melts, it isn't going to come flowing out all over the place. That's fantastic. The other thing is it's got a nice big deep sink here in the galley. And it's got a beautiful faucet. And if somebody's mouthing off, you can just point this at them and give them a squirt. Turn up here and we see that we have a TV set in the bedroom. And that's on a articulating arm. So I can swing that around and point it back toward these bunk beds. Got lots of overhead storage and pantry space. So we've got a lot of room for things to, to stack up in here. Tons and tons of space. It's got a really nice bathroom and I want to point out this has got first of all a porcelain toilet which is much easier to care for and keep clean and it's got a step-in shower. You don't have to go up over a, a bathtub. Who wants a bathtub in a travel trailer? You only have six gallons of hot water so you don't really think you're going to take a bath shower is the way to go. And then it also has a nice medicine cabinet. Also a lot of smaller trailers don't even have a sink in the bathroom but this one does. So we take a look under here and we can see that under this big bunk bed we've got a lot of storage right there. There's also going to be more storage from outside. Fantastic. And light windows, LED lights. Oh yeah that reminds me. This has all LED lighting throughout the coach, so you will use very little energy when you're doing the lights in here. Also, it has air conditioning. It has both gas and electric hot water heater. It has a power awning, and it has more stuff than that. Let's take a look outside. And one of the great things about this Jayco is that it's called the Rocky Mountain Edition. And what's cool about the Rocky Mountain Edition is, is that 
Um, it has a great big water capacity. This holds about 80 gallons of fresh water, which is, um, you know, really hard to come by in a travel trailer without going up to a big toy hauler or something. So it's nice to have all that water. You can stay longer. Here's that big storage area in the front we were talking about. Also, this has a power awning and um, it has an outdoor patio speaker built right into it. That's kind of cool. Power tongue jack, seven gallon bottles, diamond plate rock guard to keep your vehicle from getting rock damage in the front. This is a good chance to talk about this exterior. This is a Jayco J Flight and it comes standard with a sheet metal siding, wood frame sheet metal siding. And the sheet metal is awesome because it does not weather the way that fiberglass does. If you've ever owned a fiberglass trailer or boat, you've probably been disappointed by the way the finish held up over time. The sheet metal does not weather, it'll last, it is impervious to rainwater and sunlight both. Uh, it's really a good way to go and uh, a lot of times people think that the, the fiberglass is fancy or nice. I, I, mine's got fiberglass, I like it, but it isn't going to hold up over the long term as well as the sheet metal. Also, this is not a laminated sidewall so it can't delaminate. That's a really cool element here. Now, we look down the side, once again, we don't have a slide out at all, but we do have fantastic ground clearance. This has oversized tires and big wheels, and it gives you a lot of space under there. So when you're pulling out into unimproved campsite areas or pulling down into extreme parking situations or trying to go up your driveway, you're not going to drag because you have a higher body height and you get into places. This is fantastic. We do have an outside shower. We do have a sewer flush mechanism here. It's very, very good to clean out your tank when you dump it so you don't have to have services later on. Also, we could see on the back of this rig, <laughs> it comes with a spare. I'm not really sure what happened to this one, but you would get a spare. And there's a ladder on the back, and that means this is a roof you can walk on. Jayco's have what's called a Magnum Truss Roof. It's a patented design. It's very, very strong and durable. In fact, they design it, they test it with cinder blocks. They put 4,000 pounds of cinder blocks on it. You could see it on their website. And that makes this a very strong trailer because the roof is a major part of the construction. Imagine a trailer that relies on a roof you can't even walk on. So this is a very, very strong roof, crowned. It's also 3 8 exterior grade tongue and groove plywood decking and 5 8 deck decking in the floor. So structurally, this trailer has better materials and it will last longer. There's a lot of trailers, a lot of them look alike, but what's underneath is what counts as the construction. So another great thing about this particular trailer is that it has an outside kitchen. Usually if you get an outside kitchen, it's in a rear bunk model or a rear bath model. So this, is, this has the opportunity to have that because it's a bunkhouse. So take a look here and see what we got. See, this has a nice, big, easy pull kitchen that comes out and it's got a two burner stove. Now, when you're shopping and comparing, take a look at those kitchens. Most of them don't have a stove at all. They've just got a connection for a barbecue down here. They might have hot water. They might have this little fridge. We've got a fridge in here. But they don't have a way to cook your pork and beans or your corn on the cob or anything. This has got an actual kitchen out here. I think that's a really big deal. So that makes it a lot more useful and you can do stuff and you don't have to have people running in and out of your house all the time. If you look down here, you're going to see we have two propane connectors. We have one here and we will have one back here. So I can hook up my gas stove, but I can also run a barbecue off here too. Isn't that cool? Anyway, that's a good look at this new 224 Jayco J Flight bunkhouse. I absolutely love this design and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or you'd like to see it in person, I'd love to hear from you. My name's Matt Elliott. You can reach me at 541-954-8495. Thanks a bunch. You have a great day.